creator of the Radical Self Expert Method, the fastest, simplest seven step method to discover how to be your true self, change your life now, and be happy today the easy way. And in this video, we're talking about the laptop in your head. That's right, the subconscious mind. Now, if you already, if you didn't already know this, the subconscious mind takes up 96% of your mental real estate. It's not like the thinking part of your mind. The thinking part of your mind, which is the conscious mind, is only 4%, and it controls everything else. Now, I like to think of the subconscious mind as a laptop. Now, it's been called many things, but the bottom line is that it contains all of the stuff that drives our actions every day, right? And all of those things that mm, drive our decisions, right? And think of things this way. Have you ever known, like, logically, right? The thinking part of you says, okay, this probably isn't a good idea, but you do it anyway. That's because the subconscious mind is, like, driving that decision. And if the two are in conflict, where the subconscious mind and the conscious mind are in conflict, the subconscious mind will mop the floor with the conscious mind because it's 96% of your mind, right? It's like you have one mind, but, like, two separate pieces, 96% and 4%. That's why like affirmations and positive self-talk, which are things that I don't necessarily use, aren't entirely effective because your subconscious mind is a vault of memories. And where the two are in conflict, the subconscious mind will always win. So I, as I said, I like to think of the subconscious mind as like a laptop. And you know like when you buy your laptop, it comes like with certain hardware, right? It comes like with memory or RAM, whatever, I don't know. But it comes with stuff, right, when you buy the laptop. So like your mind, your subconscious mind is like that laptop. It has all of your experiences, your learned habits, your programming, what I call like entrainment things that you were raised with, your perceptions, conclusions, angles, and all of your observations from your five senses. It's like an enormous archive of your life is on that subconscious mind, on the hard drive. Now, the thing is, just like your hard drive on your laptop, it has no analytical ability, right? It doesn't go, oh, this is bad and this is good or whatever. It doesn't do that. It's just a, a vault, a storer of information. And when the conscious mind, that 4% ask it to go do something, it just goes and gets the information. It's like when you type on your laptop, search for, right? That's, that's it. That's the conscious mind is asking for information and the subconscious mind goes to the archive or to the vault and retrieves it. So that means that the subconscious mind is limited, right? It's as limited as your laptop. It can only give you back what already exists on it, yeah? So given that it's merely a playback device or a store information, pass stuff in, pass stuff out, right? So if you put disempowering information into your laptop, disempowering answers or information will come back out, right? It doesn't have a filter. It's just a laptop. So would you like a very cool and easy tool to use instead that bypasses the subconscious mind and, get you, and gets you more of the stuff you want and less of the stuff you don't? Cool? Okay. So it, most people talk about like doing affirmations. Like, okay, I don't really do that. What is really cool, I just want to bypass because I want the fastest, easiest way to get the stuff I want, yeah? So what you're going to do is you're going to ask empowering questions. Now in my book, The Radical Self Expert, I talk about this, I talk about expansive questioning and curious living. In fact, that's one of the steps in The Radical Self Expert Method. But in the words of Rainier Rilke, and I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong, you want to live the question. So instead of trying to figure things out all the time, right, which will just drive you crazy and feels like really heavy and just impossible, right? When you're trying like, what am I going to do? What, you know, huh, right? You're just trying to figure things out. So instead of doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to ask an empowering, expansive, generative, creative question. Yeah? So here is the very cool part. Now this just blows my mind. You don't even have to believe your curious, empowering, expansive question. So like, unlike affirmations where you have to, oh, like you have to believe it and embody it and all this stuff, right? And it has to become a part of you. And I mean, like, really, <laughs> like, that's like the long way, right? Okay, but this way, you don't even have to believe it. Just the question itself creates the space to start receiving. 
Very cool, right? Now the key is to ask an expansive question so that you can have that subconscious mind, the subconscious mind bypass. Because if you're asking a disempowering question, then you're gonna get disempowering out. Now I know you guys like tips. I ask myself questions all day long. I'm sure you do, but you're probably asking yourself like, why does my life suck? Why can't I find love? Why am I always broke? Okay, so if you ask yourself those kind of questions, then the subconscious mind, remember, it doesn't go, oh, this is gonna hurt her, so I'm not gonna answer that. No, no, no. If you say, why does my life suck? The subconscious mind goes, oh, well, it sucks because, and it like gives you like a laundry list, like <laughs> right? all the things that you've ever done wrong in your life. But trip this, if you said, how does this day get any better? The subconscious mind does the exact same thing. It starts to look for ways that it can be better, right? Because if it can work for the not empowering things, right, or the disempowering things, it can work for the empowering things, and you don't have to believe it. You don't have to embody it. You don't have to do anything. You just have to ask the question. And it has to be a curious, expansive, generative question, and not a, not a conclusion, and then you just, just throw a, a, a question mark at the end, hoping that it's gonna give you some results, yeah? So here are the things that encompasses an incurious, uh, a curious, empowered, expansive question. Has to be simple, specific, light and expansive. Remember, it has to be, it has to make you like expand out. It has to be curious, meaning you don't know the answer. Generates possibilities and energy so you can feel the energy from the question itself and it looks forward. So a great question is like, what is possible for me if I don't have an opinion about this? Or what is possible for me if I don't judge? What is possible if I don't have any conclusions about this thing? Do you see like how it opens up the space? Like, well, huh, well, what is possible, yeah? So what you want to have is like an expansive question, right, that just opens up all of the space for you to start receiving and then use your detector of truth to follow your knower, yeah? So um, you, what you want to avoid is going to the archives. So if the question is a question where it's like going to the archives, you know, oh, well, you suck because, like, if it's going because of way in the back, you know, from, you know, years ago or even yesterday, don't, that, okay, that's not an expansive, empowering question. So in the end, you want to have an energy of, hmm, right? Like, what would it take? Cool, right? So to get further details on, like, this whole idea of curious living in the subconscious mind, please, you know, check out the other videos or um, get your free uh, video series, The Radical Self-Expert Method. I will leave a link in the description below. And I'm curious, like, what um, questions are you asking yourself every day? Like, what are you asking yourself any questions? Because chances are, as we grow older, we stop asking questions and just start looking for the answers and looking for the conclusions and looking for the judgments. But do you see, if you have a judgment, you can't ask another question. So even if things are going great, ask another question, right? Because the subconscious it can always be better. So the subconscious mind will go, well, what else is possible here? How can it get any better? What else is? What else can I create today, yeah? Okay, so if you found value in this video, please share the yay, tweet, you know what to do. Feel free to leave me a question or comment or a hey tip below. And of course, um, I would love to hear the types of questions that you're asking yourself uh, each day. So, uh, yeah, okay. So that's it for this video. This is Tiffany Jamison Vandalite sending radical yay your way. Bye.